What's up, everybody? Welcome to another reaction video of NBA in-season tournament. Mighty Duck Vanheim checking in as we got the Western C in-season tournament between the San Antonio Spurs and the Sacramento Kings. Number three. Oh, man! Oh, downtown three for the Spurs! What a way to start in this video. It's a five-point game. Kings leading by five. Next on ESPN, we got the Phoenix Suns and the Utah Jazz. Last week's reaction, I did the New York Knicks versus... Oh, what a dunk! Oh, my God. Last week reaction, the first NBA tournament reaction I did, was between the New York Knicks and the Milwaukee Bucks. And here's a layup. No! And a foul! Wow. What a game this has been. Now the Spurs... They had the number one overall pick this past summer. They drafted Wembe, Victor Wembe, from France, or France, whatever you want to pronounce it as. In this game, well, <laughs> he's been doing pretty good for right now. Oh, Sabin's just faked them and just dunked them. Kind of said, here, bud, taste of your own medicine. You can dunk, I can dunk too, as the Kings rebound. A missed free throw by the Spurs. Hope you guys enjoyed Tuesday late evening reaction. State Farm Champions Classic between the Duke Blue Devils and the Michigan State Spartans. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Here's a three for the Kings. No. Rebound by Rick Narembe. Here comes the Spurs. Spurs eliminated by first law. Oh! So the Spurs will be eliminated if they lose this game. But the Spurs are a young team. Here comes the Kings. Oh, what a floater! Easy bucket. Timeout Spurs. Wow, 149 to go. And also, too, is, yeah, so State Farm Champions Classic. Like I said, Duke Blue Devils, Michigan State, Spartans. You haven't seen it, go check it out. Duke Blue Devils with a rebound win. After losing to Arizona Wildcats at home. So, congrats to the Duke Blue Devils. So, like I said, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Also, to us, some breaking news with the uh, Athletics. So, the Oakland Athletics are now going to be moving to the Las, to Las Vegas. Are now going to be called the Las Vegas Athletics. Now, in the recent years, these past few years, teams have been moving out of Oakland. You had the Golden State Warriors. They were originally, when they first came in, they were San Francisco. Then they moved to Oakland for from, like, what, in the 80s they went to Oakland? And then they moved from Oakland to San Francisco. Then you had the Raiders. Now, the Raiders, they were originally Oakland when they first became a franchise. Then they moved to Los Angeles because... Al Davis, the original Raiders owner, God bless his soul, he um, he didn't want to build a new stadium, so he moved to Los Angeles. And then in 1995, the Raiders moved back to Oakland, and then in 2021, the Raiders went from Oakland to Las Vegas. And now for the A's, you know, they're originally called the Kansas City A's, then they moved to Oakland in the West Coast, now they're moving to Las Vegas. So it's crazy to see Las Vegas getting some sports teams. And which is pretty cool. I mean, nobody expected Vegas to get some sports teams. I mean, the Vegas Golden Knights, they're doing pretty good in hockey. They won the Stanley Cup this past year. Here's a three. What is he doing? A little bit of a contact. So, but yeah, it's crazy to see Vegas getting some teams. I mean, Oakland... I mean, Oakland's not a bad city. I just think they lost the representation. And here's a Miss Floater from the Kings. You know, of having sports teams. I think sports teams are like, listen, we had these stadiums for a long time. Why can't we reinvent them? Oakland, another one, do that! Oh my god, what a three! From downtown, no one around. I mean, that's the problem with Oakland. They have these old stadiums that's been there for a long time. They want to reinvent them, and they're like, no. We don't want to do that. So teams are like, all right, if you don't want to be in our stadium, then we're moving out of here. 
And oh, DeAndre Fox, what a layup. Not much for the Spurs. Here they go. Here's a shot for three. Oh, no. Rebound. Oh. Wow. They got the foul, and they do. So the Spurs do foul this game. So in 2028, Las Vegas, uh, well, as I should say, the Athletics, they'll be pretty much without home pretty much through 2024 through 2028. 2028 will be officially when they get a new stadium. And pretty much it got approved. All owners approved it. Hopefully it'll be an improvement for the A's if they can start winning. So next up we got Kevin Durant. Devin Booker, Phoenix Suns taking on the Utah Jazz. As the Sacramento Kings looking to close it out against the San Antonio Spurs. But it's crazy to see the Athletics moving. I mean, their stadium, unfortunately, hasn't been revenerated. Their stadium is literally falling apart. It's bad. It is really, really bad. Here's a three from the Kings. No, rebound by Victor. Oh, wait, wait, oh! Oh! Oh, what an easy layup by Victor Wamba. And the Sacramento Kings. Oh, and then a layup. You didn't have to do that. So the Sacramento Kings. So Victor Wamba, 27 points. A strong game for him. But it's not enough for the Spurs. So the Sacramento Kings will... Move on in the tournament, I think. Oh, what a game by the Kings. Spurs fans, keep your heads up. You guys got a young team. Bright future ahead. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, now doing this video. Final score, Sacramento Kings, 129. San Antonio Spurs, 125. Well, 23, I should say. So, we'll see you on the next one. Mighty Ducks signing out. Big win for the Kings as they defeated the San Antonio Spurs as DeAndre Fox gets 43 points in this game. Mighty Ducks sign off. Peace.